Hello, and thank you for tuning in and spending some time here with me on my regular tip video. Now, whether you are catching this live or you are joining me on my YouTube page, which is Personal Style with Sue, thanks so much for tuning in and maybe even sharing the content with people in your circle that you think would benefit from this type of information. My name is Sue Jacobs. I'm a wardrobe and image coach and I live in just south of London, Ontario, Canada. What I am going to be talking about is a trend that I believe we have been incorporating into our styling techniques for the last I'm going to say two years and recently, maybe the last eight months, we have seen lots of layering in jewelry, which is interesting because I like to layer. I've always liked to layer and maybe some of that is because it started with the clothing and garments and I'm a person that regardless of the temperature outside or the season, I would be warm. So layering has always been a strategy for me to keep comfortable, but way more than comfort now. Layering is a styling detail that stylists and image and wardrobe coaches utilize to add depth to their clients' looks, to add visual interest, to help them achieve their image goals. And it's, you know what, it's just fun, pure and simple fun. So what is it about layering? And I, and I want to say that we are going to see this as a strong trend moving forward into fall and winter and into spring 2021. So if it isn't something that you have, I guess, likened or tried or become used to, maybe now is the time for you to try layering and just for this purposes I'm just going to talk about jewelry and as you can see I have on three little necklaces. Now three is a number that I often default to in many areas of my consultancy and when I got dressed for uh, today for this video Actually, I only had two on and I thought, no, it feels weird. It says, is it right? I need a third one. Odd numbers good. Of course, five would be far too much overkill because it is very warm. Maybe where you are, it's uh, cooler, but it is summer here and it's very hot. So you can see that all of them are fairly minimal and maybe you can see the commonality Maybe not, but they are the same tone. So all the warm matte gold, dainty, dainty chain. And I like to wear things that mean something to me. And this was a coin that I had made into a necklace, a coin that my daughter who uh, brought back from when she lived in Japan. And that's important to me. And Carrie Schultz actually made this into a necklace for me. This is also a Carrie Schultz little very minimal piece. So nothing here is fighting with each other. The, the piece right here, the other one, is a sentimental piece. But again, the two shapes sort of work together. The tones, as I said, are, are complementary. And that's just how it works. So this is very simple because I have on a t-shirt that has a graphic pattern and you don't want to overwhelm and have your styling details compete with each other because then everything just kind of falls to the wayside. So the, 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 um, what was I, I, I guess I want to say there are many ways to layer your jewelry, but just because they are the same tone, the same metal, the same, maybe they're all organic, does not mean that they will work well together. I also definitely need to mention this and and make sure that you understand some of what I'm going to show you. I only have three examples here. Uh, however, they're very different in terms of who would wear them, in terms of style personality. But the concept and the how to do it is going to be consistent. 
So you may not like the combination, but you understand that the style personality wearing these examples are could be very different from you. So I have a pretty, pretty basic, pretty, I would say entry level layering uh, example here. I have a very dramatic uh, example. I actually had it on earlier today with just plain white linen for an appointment that I had. I have an example of a classic layering strategy. And then I have one of just another, a little bit of a, I would say a little more intense than the beginner level, but I want you to see how this works. And again, understand that it is a style strategy. So it is a styling way. So you're going to, you know, come across more in, more in tune with fashion, more in tune with your own style. And that's important. Okay. Because you know what? You want to stand out. All right. So I'm going to pivot the camera around and I will show you. So, and I'll show you my first examples here. Okay. So these are three pieces. Oops, you can see them separately. They're wonderful. And do you know what I noticed? And I'm so kind of proud of this. All three of these are Canadian uh, designers or Canadian based. This is Tova out of Montreal. This is a part of a Stella and Dot necklace that I've had for a while. And this little summer fun one is a Carrie Schultz design. So here's what the thinking is in layering these three pieces. These are similar. They're both going to sit high on the neck. Now you can see that I am looking to create volume. That's what I need because my hair has a lot of volume. So this is what I do is create volume. And if you have a dramatic style and your hair is not big and curly, this will work for you. Now, just to tone it down a bit and add a little bit of length, I've added the same tone. This is a little darker, burnished, very um, almost kind of, I don't want to say tarnish, but the brass is turned, which I like. And then I have this little bobble on the end, which I love. There's movement here, which I like. There isn't much movement here. The tiny pearl adds a little bit of a nod to my classic underlying style um, that sometimes get lost, that gets lost, but that's okay. So this is a very, you know, second level, I want to say layering your necklaces. And I'm hoping that that looks logical and makes sense to you. I love it. The best compliment you can have is when someone says to you, when you have layered three necklaces, oh, I love your necklace because they think it's one piece. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now, this is another piece. I love this. And it's your classic pearls with a little bit of edge here in the crystal. And to make this a little more funky, a little more creative, and it's fine on its own. The jewelry, obviously, this is what I'm using for examples. But what I like to do to take away from the classic overall vibe of this is add something that will throw it off a bit. So I'm just adding this, whoops, I'm so sorry, it's very tiny simple necklace here with the three charcoal bits and you can see that the the stone here is of course the same color as the crystal but they also mirror the shape and for me this is a very subtle change I don't need to do much more because now I've got the gray bead I have the black matte stone and I have the sparkly faceted black that's three components i'm not going to change it up much more here um, you may or may not choose to do that yourself and each of these pieces works really nicely on their own okay layering layering step one and here's layering with the cooler tones if this is your style this is more classic in nature just adding that bit of vibe now <laughs> I'm going to show you this one. 
And this is a beautiful piece of jewelry. Again, a Carrie Schultz. I have had this for four years. I love this necklace. And you can see back to the warm tones. And behind it is a leather tong. It's, a, it's just a little bit of a nice organic natural uh, strap. And look at this. And again, this is Canadian London designed, this gorgeous long pendant necklace by Mary Downs, designer at Reunited Designs. So it's really hard. You can see the expanse of this combination. I know that this may be too much for some of you. I, I understand that. But I, I was looking for something to fill in this long space here today. And I had a long white linen tunic on and I wanted to add some color. So this is, again, a little more creative, a little more dramatic. That's what I liked. And what did I wear with it? A very minimal thin bracelet and my gold watch. That's it. Because this is the focal point and earrings or a lot of bracelets would have really made this look overwhelming it would not have looked stylish it would have looked terrible now I'm sure some of you are thinking oh my goodness that's I wouldn't do that or I would never think to do that and that is great and I will tell you how these work the tone the palette is very similar other than the red and the tones are great and all these gorgeous little round crystals and the round and beads that Carrie used here complement this big gold ring that Mary used to attach what I wanted, something bold. And there it is, the red. And this looked amazing. The shoes I wore were a beige, kind of had a gold undertone. So the outfit was great. I loved it. I will wear it again. And I, I'm hoping that you can see why this works for me. Oh, and what else? Their movement in the pendant here works well with the movement here. I'm always looking for movement. So again, three very different per style personalities here. Creative dramatic. This is more classic with a twist. Adding this little singular necklace here that works well independently of the classic pearls. And then back to the um, kind of the primer, the two three pieces who, again, play nice independently of each other. And whoops, and when it's super hot, you don't want to be having too much, you know, weight at your neck. And this actually is very nice. And it makes a, a calm statement without being overwhelming or looking too heavy. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera back to me. Hello, and here I am. And again, back to the very, very basic layering of three that I have here. Nothing is fighting. I would say that the sentimental piece stands out a little bit more, but because of my graphic t-shirt, I kept this minimal. This, and I'm just wearing jeans and I have on a kind of a rattan shoe. Perfect, perfect for a casual look that is put together. And I want to say, I am going to be doing a lot more about the how to of accessories coming towards I guess uh, early September because I have been very busy in the last month so most of May sorry most of June and starting even into July online shopping and what follows with the, my appointments from my online shopping for my clients is the wardrobe building that we do via Zoom. And every time we are creating outfits, it is the accessories that move the outfit fit forward that make it work. Even if the client says, okay, I don't know what you're doing here. This is pretty bad, pretty, pretty plain. They, they know, those who know me well, they need to wait, wait until it has been accessorized. This is how you do that. And I know that so many of you are confused or it's overwhelming or you don't know if you have the right jewelry you don't know if this works for you you don't know what to buy where to buy i'm going to be sharing all of that kind of content in the program that i'm working on for the fall and so 
here's the thing. For those of you who are watching this on my YouTube channel, which is Personal Style with Sue, I would love for you to reach out to me through my website, personalstyleconsulting.com, or you can email me at susan at personalstyleconsulting.com because I want you to have my key elements to creating a perfect casual wardrobe. And I will tell you, I don't know how many elements there are, maybe 60. And it talks about everything from head to toe, including footwear. And if you would like that, I'd be happy to send it to you. Just let me know here or you can send me an email. So I really would like to know if you are going to try this technique. If you do, I would love to see pictures because this helps me see did I explain it properly? Are you getting it? And let's be honest, uh, my goal is for you to move forward in your own personal styling and to be very aware of what you need, what you don't need and spend your money wisely. That is a good return on your investment. So I do mean it when I say, send me a picture. I would love it. Okay, until next time. Whew. I'm used to saying stay safe. I'm going to say stay cool. For those of you down under, ooh, I know you're wearing, you're all rugged up right now, but uh, I'm sure you have some warm days as well. And I will see you next week right here. Thanks for so much for tuning in.